This is the first moment of your fairy tale. Make the best of it. We are unsure why you thought tiaras were cool, but you never really seem to follow the general rule. You are unapologetically Cody Marie, a kind and genuine soul for all to see. When she was a young girl, she always dressed up as a, a princess. She definitely looked like a princess today. You're a self-proclaimed princess, looking and searching for your Prince Charming. For someone who is kind, caring, and most of all, calming. This is where Paul comes into play. You finally found your Prince Charming on one memorable day. It was fate and the African wildlife of Moana that brought us together. But it's true love, respect, and honesty that will always keep us close. You are so much more than I could have ever dreamed of. There's nothing I want more in this world and to spend the rest of my life with you. Whisked him away to the land down under, where the connection was made clear, sometimes enough to make you chunder. A bit of PDA here and there, actually let's face it, it was everywhere. It was clear to see that they were made for each other, and how excited we are now to finally have a brother. To think back where it all started, two people from different worlds, from the same hearts, from the same values, not knowing how it would work, but we knew we were going to make it work. With so many uncertainties, commitments were still made and kept. To be each other's and to plan our forever together. Today we saw something from a fairy tale. A beautiful bride and a beautiful horse and a groom crying from joy. There's something special between the two of them. And from the first time I've met them, that is something I saw. There's no bigger love, no better love than giving up your lives for the one you love. You are willing to, to give up everything in order to unselfishly seek the best for your spouse then i think you found the secret of a marriage Are you, Paul, calling everybody present to witness that you are taking Cody as your lawful wedded wife? What is your answer? Yes, to me. Are you, Cody, taking him as your lawfully wedded husband? I hope, I really hope that you will be happy forever and ever, just like in the fairy tales. Now you can kiss your bride. <laughs>
you are unique and special. You have a beautiful soul that has touched every single person that has met you, even if it was only brief. I believe there's only love and compassion and kindness in your heart as it radiates from your existence. How long will I love you? As long as the stars are above you And longer if I can I love your kind brown eyes, <laughs> your gentle soul, the lines in your face when you smile, and the happiness that fills me when I see you happy too. For the first time tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Van der Linden. How long will I be with you? As long as the sea is bound to wash upon the sand. When I met Paul, I knew that Cody had found her prince. Paul is everything that Cody has been dreaming of. He protects her, he cherishes her, and he has a lot of patience with her. You love and care for every living thing in this universe. From the ant to the elephant, it shows me that if you love the planet and all its creatures so much, change your way of living. I can't even imagine what you would do to love and support me. How long will I love you? As long as stars are above you. And longer if I may. What a team Cody and Paul make together with the foundations built to withstand all kinds of weather. To think it all started with a party, some may say a day, and here we are today, it was most definitely fate. It was fate that brought you together as one, and fate that makes you feel as though you've won. How long will I love you?